Istanbul is a unique metropolitan city located on two continents. This exceptional feature also generates significant transportation problems. In Istanbul, new solutions for reducing the growing traffic density between the European and Asian sides of the city are always being developed in an effort to diminish the resulting socio-economic burdens. One significant potential solution for Istanbul's transportation-related problems is the Eurasia crossing. The crossing will create a new and direct link between Kozlicesme Junction on the European side and Göztepe Junction on the Asian side. The project has a total length of 14.6 kilometers and the route consists of three sections. The first section is located on the European side between the Kozlicesme Junction and Chotla de Kapı. This section is 5.4 kilometers long and it aims to streamline the traffic flow by expanding the present road and adding certain junctions and road connections. Pedestrians will continue to have easy access to the seaside and Yenikapa meeting area using the level crossings and certain overpasses made to accommodate disabled people. The second and most important section of the project is the straight crossing which is 5.4 kilometers long which will be constructed using a tunnel boring machine. This part of the tunnel will have two decks and with two lanes on each deck. The deepest point of the Bosphorus is 62 meters from the sea level, while the deepest point of the tunnel is 106 meters. This section is designed for use only by light vehicles and includes automatic toll gates and a main control building. The U-shaped approach structures and cut and cover tunnels that extend for more than 700 meters connect to the 3.4 kilometer long straight crossing. On the Asian side, the traffic is separated at a 170 meter transition box underground and board tunnels on each side that are roughly one kilometer long to facilitate the connection with the existing D100 highway. The tunnel boring machine, TBM for short, is produced in Germany by the leading company Herenkinect. This project is currently ranked sixth in the world with a 13.7 meter diameter TBM as a result of the level 11 bar water pressure that gives it the power to withstand the high pressures at the deepest places along its planned trajectory, the TBM is ranked second in its own class. On a daily basis, the TBM will progress through between 8 to 10 meters of varying geological strata, which will include rock formations and soft sea sediments. Considering such challenges, the project is one of the most significant engineering endeavors being undertaken in the world, pushing technical boundaries forward on several fronts. The multi-dimensional safety of the Eurasia crossing 
will be ensured through the use of superior technologies and diligent planning at the design stage that will take any and all possible outcomes into account. Additionally, durability and easy maintenance will be considered when choosing materials of highest strength to meet the challenging natural requirements. The Eurasia Tunnel will provide functional, safe, fast and comfortable transportation for its users through 24 hours of uninterrupted service and monitoring. The third section of the project lies on the Anatolian side and involves modifications and enlargements to the existing D100 freeway from the tunnel exit at Eyup Aksoy Junction all the way to the Göztepe Junction. This section, 3.8 kilometers long, also includes junction arrangements and new connections. Following the completion of the construction work, the first and third sections of the project will be handed over to the Metropolitan Municipality. An operating company will operate the straight crossing section until it is transferred to the administration at the end of the 26 years concession duration. Currently, the travel time from Göztepe to Kozlicheshme is more than 100 minutes during rush hour. The Eurasia Tunnel will reduce this to 15 minutes and enable the passage of more than 100,000 vehicles every day. This critical project, tendered by the Ministry of Transport, Maritime Affairs and Communications, is being considered by a joint venture created by Yapo Merkezi and SKENC. The world's most reputable engineering companies are also participating in this project. The groundbreaking ceremony was held on February 26, 2011. The project is being procured under the Build Operate Transfer model. The project cost of $1.25 billion will thus be financed entirely by the concession company with 960 million US dollars in bank credit facilities and 290 million dollar equity from the sponsor companies Yapa Merkezi and SKENC. This project is distinguished by superior features that evidence respect for human and urban life. A route that does not impact the world-famous silhouette of the historical peninsula of Istanbul, thus preserving the city's historical heritage. An environmentally friendly design that respects the ecological balance and does not harm natural life. Robust solutions utilizing durable and clean materials. Istanbul and Turkey are about to benefit from a globally significant monument that incorporates state-of-the-art technologies and upholds the highest human values. Best of luck to the contractors.